Hey there thinkers, welcome back to Critical Hit. My name is Est and Obsidian Entertainment is in full meltdown mode and it's almost impressive to watch. Like the company seems determined to self implode with Matt Henson playing the role as chief arsonist. Just as they were on the brink of releasing AOW, their supposed crown jewel, Henson's controversial behavior has become the PR nightmare no one ordered but everyone is getting served. It's almost like he just woke up and said, how can I derail this launch in the most spectacular fashion possible? And I mean, wow, is he ever delivering? However, I have a few things to say here, but before I do, we have a small request. If you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button, smashing that like, and ring the bell to be notified for our next video. We would greatly appreciate this since this will help us appease those YouTube algorithm gods. So we thank you. Now, let me give you our thoughts on this and let's get into it. So the timing of this couldn't be more hilariously tragic. After years of development and countless hype cycles, you'd think they'd be laser focused on making this launch a success. However, instead, it's chaos central, with one rogue employee single-handedly turning their big moment into a train wreck. It's as if Obsidian handed him the match and said, go ahead, light it up. And now we just get to watch as the anticipation for Avowed is overshadowed by the drama, like turning what should have been a victory lap into an absolute PR disaster. Honestly, you can't make this shit up. So in the latest twist of events, a former Obsidian Entertainment co-owner called out the company for allegedly practicing discriminatory hiring all sparked by now vanished tweet from Hansen. In this gem of a tweet, Hansen generously offered job advice to black artists and proclaiming that his DMs were wide open and they had priority. Oh, and he couldn't resist taking a swipe at crusty white dudes, saying he hoped to be replaced. And I mean, that's just real classy, right? And then fast forward to Elon Musk publicly dragging him and tagging Microsoft's CEO for good measure. And well, surprise, surprise, Hansen's X account, yes, that is Twitter for those who are still adjusting, is now conveniently deleted. Wow. It turns out Henson's outbursts weren't a one-off. His now vanished posts packed with shots at Musk managed to crank up the drama dial even higher. Meanwhile, Chris Avalon, ever the champion of justice, urged would-be plaintiffs to lawyer up, conveniently echoing Musk's reminder that Hansen might be playing with legal fire. But don't worry, Avalon assures us it's not about politics, and I mean like, sure Chris, just a noble quest for fair employment practices. And by the way, even if Obsidian had perfectly good reasons to reject candidates, I mean their hiring process still deserves a legal side eye because at this point, why not? Now, Hansen's little meltdown has exploded into a full-blown mess, with widespread backlash following his bizarre attempt to cover his tracks, like deleting his ex account. Brilliant move, really, because when you're trying to dodge accountability, the first thing that you should do is make yourself look even guiltier. But of course, in the world of X, Musk has the keys to the kingdom, meaning that those deleted posts are just hanging around like dirty laundry in a digital archive. Like his desperate attempt to erase them is as effective as trying to wipe away permanent marker with a tissue. Like critics are having a field day pointing out how laughable it is that he thinks deleting his account would work when Musk can easily hit undelete and pull up the dirt. Like this whole debacle just serves as a glaring reminder that people can get away with their nonsense in their little echo chambers where they're only surrounded by yes men. But when the public finally catches up with them, they can't run from the truth no matter how hard they try. Oh, and now he's distancing himself from Obsidian, claiming he doesn't work there anymore and has nothing to do with Avowed. Like how convenient. 
He also decided to bring up his past experiences with discriminatory practices at other companies, as if that's some big revelation. I mean, guess he's trying to make himself look like a martyr of the industry now? Like, I mean, come on, another example of how the gaming industry's hiring practices are a dumpster fire. Like, America's First Legal already got the ball rolling, filing complaints with the Equity Employment Opportunity Commission over the same nonsense at Disney? Like, guess what? It turns out that pretending to push for diversity while actually being discriminatory might not be the best strategy, especially when the legal consequences come knocking. And here we are, now Obsidian is knee deep in a mess of their own making, like this disaster, all courtesy of Henson's brilliant decision making skills. It's almost like they forgot that cutting corners and playing fast and loose with the rules tend to have consequences. Shocking, right? Like now the company is scrambling and they're about to get a crash course in the legal and PR nightmares that follow such epic blunders. Like the fallout from this is going to be so juicy, especially the whole parade of legal battles, finger pointing and a reputation that's been scorched beyond recognition. And of course, this is just the beginning. The effects will echo throughout the company and the industry, setting a nice precedent for anyone thinking they can pull the same stunt. So while Hansen's probably sitting back with popcorn, Obsidian's about to learn the hard way that bad decisions don't just vanish. They stick around and they're messy. However, those are my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And hey, before you go, subscribe to our channel, smash the like button, and ring the bell to be notified for our next video. As always, this is Est, and I'm signing off now. So I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!